hand, Marcus. Advance by two. Anyone else hear that? Negative. Ah! Come in. Come in. Damn it, Hernandez. Talk to me. What's going on? I'm not getting anything here. Marcus. Law. Can you hear me? Come on. Somebody answer me. Is anybody alive out there? Come in. Get me another asset out there, Pronto. Anything we've got. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. This is the USS Ravenswood. We arrived in the vicinity of the vessel and will now initiate a search patrol and look for it. Ravenswood, out. Hey peeps, welcome to TacosAndGeeks.com video game flashback and today we are going to be taking a look back at Cold Fear which was a PS2 third person shooter and it also came out for the Xbox One and Microsoft Windows survival horror game back in 2005. Now this is one of those hidden gem underrated survival horror games um, and the reason why it's it was overshadowed by a certain, I don't know, big title that you guys probably heard of, something called Resident Evil 4, which this came out, I believe, a year afterwards with it, but yeah, it was kind of over, still overshadowed. We were still on the high of Resident Evil 5, and we didn't really get a chance to appreciate Cold Fear, so now that I went through Steam and I found the game, I decided to pick it up for um, during the winter sale when it was $2, so I picked it up. And I heard about this game a long time ago, and I finally got a chance to play it. And I, honestly, I really did enjoy it. One thing, first of all, um, before I get into the synopsis, one thing I really did like is the location. Now, the location you're taking place on an entire ship, and you have to deal with these hordes of zombies as you try to find out what's happened to the crew and everything else, and still battling members of a certain Russian crew as well. And now some of you might be thinking like, wait a minute, if this is taking place on a ship, didn't they do that already? Uh, didn't Resident Evil Revelations have that same type of location? I honestly, deep down inside it, I, this is just my theory, I think Revelations was a little bit, the setting was inspired by Cold Fear. I mean, just from the graphics, um, just the way the core, the, the look and feel and tone of it. I think it's the cold fear that we kind of wanted. Um, so yeah, let, let me just get into the synopsis. In a ferocious Arctic storm, distress signals are sent from a seemingly abandoned Russian ship. As Coast Guard veteran Tom Hansen, you board to investigate and discover unthinkable horrors lurking beneath the ship's bloodstained decks. Unleash a turn of weapons, create fatal traps, and use shotguns, flamethrowers, or any object you can find to survive. Keep your barons in battles against increasingly mutated enemies in this treacherous, unstable environment. Brave, dangerous waters rocked by huge breakers, you must steady your nerves and aim to evade in a watery grave and that's one thing i really did like playing this with the gameplay is that not only that you have to deal with the zombies and the mutated enemies and not to mention human enemies as well who think that you're on there to take over the ship who for some reason is firing at you and i think this all can cease fire if these guys just had to like, stop shooting at each other had a conversation but you also have to deal with the environment in certain areas like when you get to the deck of the ship you have to battle the ship constantly rocking and i love that type of 
type of challenge when it comes to the gameplay is as the ship is rocking you're trying to aim it can actually cost your life because you can go overboard or you can actually get bit or get attacked by the zombies and i thought that was a really smart mechanic to add into it and it also increases tension and when it comes to these survival horror games you really have to set some type of tone intention and because if you don't have tension if you don't have tone all you have is some nice looking graphics some stellar gameplay but that can only take you so far when it comes to a survival horror game what you need is actual tension how how do i feel playing this how do i feel exploring it and what cold fear did it really nails that tone it really nails that environment there's creepy aspects the use of lighting the textures i mean it looks brilliant it looks really really good and it holds up on steam but could you imagine it's back on the playstation 2 days where uh the graphics weren't as crisp as it is now obviously on a computer it looks way gorgeous it still holds up it doesn't look like it's outdated at all when just looking at these graphics and from those who are big fans of resident evil this plays just similar to Resident Evil. Um, I would do have to say one thing I didn't really like. I wasn't a big fan of the camera. And if they had it completely similar to Resident Evil 4, when it comes to that over the shoulder perspective, it, this one switches, as you can see, it goes from this over the shoulder perspective to sort of this tank view that you you know you're known for in the resident evil games the problem with this sometimes is that the camera just kind of it's a fixed camera so it kind of just follows the player so there's moments like this where i'm just all i can see is tom henson's face but i want to see where it is ahead of me in this view but there's sometimes in certain areas where you only see in the space which makes it very hard for you to spot the enemy so the only way to really fix the camera is to kind of aim your gun so that part I, I would say was a little frustrating that part i really wish even um with the re-release on steam that they kind of fixed that early or at least tweaked it a bit but i really did enjoy this game i, I think this is a game um definitely a hidden gem that a lot of people should play and you can see that it was heavily influenced by the gameplay of resident evil 4 which was really big at the time when it came to over shoulder um perspective of third person and i think this one for the most part really captures that kind of resident evil spirit um there is some legitimate scares here uh, when it comes to the environment so i definitely will say that there were actual times where i just like oh my god uh there's some legitimate good jump scares in here uh voice, let's talk a little bit about the voice acting the voice acting is pretty cool um it's not the best and it's definitely not the worst i mean we've all heard worse like uh you with the master of unlocking i'm looking at you um gameplay wise like i said it plays very similar to resident evil 4 in the resident evil games uh, the, the nice over shoulder perspective like you're seeing right here in the shot really adds to this tension and it really makes you feel uneasy and you know um, I really did enjoy that. The great use of lighting, great use of sound, combat is fluent um, but like I said there's times where the controls can get a little clunky when it comes to shooting as you can see me struggling a little bit here. Um, but overall you guys if you have a Steam account it's i believe it's ten dollars now i think the normal place is ten dollars i got it on sale for steam's winter sale for two dollars or, or i think 2.99 so i will definitely pick it up check it out it is cold fear it's it's a, it's a really good survival horror game nice hidden gem um very gory by the way nice story great enemies great battle system it's 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 a win so definitely check out cold fear this is justin from the tacos of geeks this has been video game flashback and i will definitely catch you guys on the next one later days peace